Hello everyone, it is Speedy of Speed Racer 456 Feed Productions coming to you with yet another Transformers video review. And today we look at a figure that I've already reviewed. It is the Transformers Galaxy Force Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now, as I stated in my other review of Galaxy Force Optimus, this is arguably one of the best Optimus Prime figures that I have ever bought. And considering that I only got it for a tenner off of eBay, well worth it as well. Given the fact, of course, that the original recommended retail price of this guy was about 40 to 50 quid, somewhere around there. Mind you, that was back in 2005, so what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, the rolls, rather loudly. Yeah. Nah, never mind. But, uh, yeah, that always keeps popping up. Don't ask. But, uh, yeah, just for a size comparison, here is the, uh, the Galaxy Force Optimus. And here's something like, say, the Transformers Prime, uh, the Transformers Animated Optimus. And, as you can see, there is a mahoosive difference in both height and length. So, uh, so, yeah. And now, for another size comparison, here he is with the new Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Weaponizers Optimus Prime. As you can see, this guy just towers over him, as, uh, as you can see. So, uh, so yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, things that you can do with him in uh, vehicle mode. Well, he's got um, he's got these articulated cannons, which are pretty cool. Uh, this one actually comes with three missiles that launch. This one actually opens up and has lights and sounds. And just in there, I don't know if you can see it, it should be coming across on your screen as a small blue dot. That button there activates the lights and sounds for this gun when it's in closed mode. Like it is now, so uh, just to show that off. So, uh, so yeah. And then, when you take his, uh, his Cyber Planet key, as seen here, which has a very nicely molded on Autobot symbol, where the paint has unfortunately rubbed off it, but it's still viewable as you can see. Uh, you just plug it into this gun, and... hang on, there we go, and... that happens. And you come around to this button, press it again, and... you get another sound effect, which is pretty cool. This gun, on the other hand, while the front of it can detach off to become Prime's um, handgun, and does have a firing whistle, as you just saw. And when you plug the other uh, Cyber Planet key back into this gun, you will, I can just get it lined up, there we go, it'll deploy another two launchable missiles. But unfortunately, the springs aren't as powerful. As, uh, as the spring in the gun. For obvious reasons, I mean, like, come on, people, it's a kid's toy. And I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, so there's the vehicle mode itself. Um, and sticking with the vehicle mode, actually, I'm, um, I'm now gonna show you how to get him into his flight mode. Because if you remember, in the, uh, in the Transformers Galaxy Force TV series, Optimus had, um, had two vehicle modes. He had this vehicle mode, and then he had a flight mode, which looked absolutely amazing. So, um, so to get him into his flight mode, what you want to do is, is you want to take these guns, rotate them all the way back into their housing here, as so. Uh, take these inner cannons here, rotate these down. Take these two side windows here, rotate those around. Like... Uh, like that. Hang on, there we go. 
then just take these two side panels here, rotate them outward, and then you rotate them down, as so. And as so. And there you have Galaxy Force Optimus in his flight mode. And this was actually one of my favourite modes that Optimus had in the TV show. I mean, I just... Look at it! If you had to design a flying fire truck, this would have to be what you'd have to go for. It's just absolutely fantastic. It really is. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so now I'll just get him back into, um, into his on-road mode, so to speak. So just fold those out, rotate those inner uh, cannons in, rotate the wings up and around, and rotate the cannons down, which, as you can hear, are on very big and very loud ratchet joints. So, yeah. Pardon me. Uh, okay, next up, time to get him into robot mode, obviously. So what you want to do is, is you want to take these two side legs, they're on either side, and you want to rotate them outward, and you want to grab up just under here, and lift off the entire trailer assembly, set that off to the side, and have it. And so that we can just focus on the, uh, on the main cab. So to get the cab into his um, into his robot mode, what you want to do is, is you want to come down to these sections here on these wheels, which do have added suspension. That's a nice little touch, actually. I really like that. I really like that. But anyway, what you want to do is, is you want to come down to uh, to these sections here. And you want to rotate them to the back of the legs. Those will obviously become his heels, as you can see. Then you want to take the entire cab assembly, rotate it up, take his crotch plate, rotate that down, take this section here, rotate that up, take these um, side windows, rotate them around to form his chest, come to the back, take the cab, you want to split that in two, and accordion them out as so. And does so. I want to take the forearm, rotate that down, rotate that around just so that the wheel is facing backward. I want to take the cab then, accordion that up. And as you can see, there's a big socket here and a big uh, socket joint that plugs into there. Uh, repeat the process on the other arm. As so, and you want to take this lever here on the back, slide that up, and there's his head. Now, one thing that I didn't spot in the instructions was that the legs can actually be slid out. So what you want to do to do that is you just want to split the legs, then from the leg, and then from the knee downward, you want to slide the legs outward, as so. I don't know if you saw it just then, but Optimus just uh, shifted over a little bit. And uh, and so there is uh, the Galaxy Force Optimus in his standard robot mode. And I really like it. It is very, very TV accurate. But then again, it was the Unicron trilogy back then. The toys were as TV accurate as they could get. Let's be blunt. But, uh, but yeah, articulation-wise, the shoulders, they're on, um, they're, on, they're on swivel joints, as well as uh, ratchet joints for outer movements from the shoulder downward. Uh, the elbows are on rotation joints, and are also on ratchet joints as well. Uh, the hands can actually open, but unfortunately his fingers aren't separately articulated, which is a bit of a shame. And, uh, and first off as well, I, uh, I can see already that, uh, that this review is going to go somewhere into the 10 minute marker, so uh, I do apologise if this drags on a little bit. Uh, yeah, hang on. There we go. Uh, the head 
That's on a uh, rotation joint and can do a full 360. Uh, and then the legs, well the legs are on a swivel joint from about the thigh downward. The, uh, the knees as well are on a ratchet joint so they can go backwards and, and forwards, which is a bit weird. And then of course from um, from the waist downward he also has full leg articulation including an outward swivel. So uh, so yeah. So there's Optimus. Now time to focus on the trailer and get this bad boy into its portable base mode. Um, now I have actually seen many pictures on the internet where they take the trailer and just do this for its base mode which is completely lazy I mean this trailer has bags of articulation in it and they don't bother to use it uh, which is why I'm going to show you how to get this trailer now into, um, into the portable base mode that I've come up with which uh, which you may remember from um, from my other review of this guy as well. So basically, what you want to do is is you want to take the sides of the trailer here, rotate them outward, and then rotate these legs forward, as so, and as so. Then you want to rotate these cannons forward, as so. Take these black sections here. Disconnect them from the trailer housing. Rotate them up. As so. And as so. Then you want to take these two cannons and rotate them off to the side. And there is my interpretation of Optimus's um, trailer base from Transformers Galaxy Force. And so, yeah, you know, that looks pretty cool. Uh, the reason why these two are up here, in case you haven't already uh, figured it out for yourselves, is uh, is so that Optimus can actually come in and uh, and actually use these sections here as handles, which I think actually looks pretty damn cool. I don't know about you, Lob, but obviously I think it looks pretty damn cool. Yeah. But again, like I said, this trailer's got bags of articulation, and, and again, people are extremely lazy and don't bother using it except um, to form his backpack in super robot mode. Speaking of which, that's exactly what we're about to cover now. So I'll just get the trailer base out of the way first. There we go. And then come back to focus mainly on Optimus. So to get him ready for his uh, for his super robot mode, what you want to do is, is you want to take these two sections here on the side of his head, rotate them out. Then because mine are loose, I usually just push the head down a little bit. And there's a lever right here in the middle of his head. You just want to pull down on said lever. And, the, and his mouth plate will come up, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait, hang on. Just remembered something. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I just remembered the one thing that I didn't do before moving on to Super Robot Mode, and that was Robot Mode Height, uh, height Comparisons. So here is the Galaxy Force Optimus next to the Transformers Animated Optimus. As you can see, quite the height difference. And now, here's the Galaxy Force Optimus alongside the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Optimus. Yeah. You know it's always a bad thing if an older figure towers over a newer figure. Let's leave it at that. But anyway...
Now we can get him ready for super robot mode. So you want to fold out the uh, the antenna, pop up the uh, the faceplate, and you want to come back to these two heel pieces, rotate them downward like that, so that they're still connecting with the back of his leg. Slide them up. Then you want to rotate them down, and then these will peg into the bottom of his leg. And you just take his foot, fold it down into a small indent here, look, as you can see. And you just want to repeat the process on the other leg, as so, until Optimus looks something like that. It is too back heavy to even stand up. Ta da! So yeah, uh, then you want to come on over to the portable trailer base and, um, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give him the backpack that he had in the TV show, not the ones that they show you in the instructions. So yeah, so you want to take this blue midsection here, unclip it from the rest of the trailer, I'll set the rest of that over to the side, I'll break this in two, rotate this around, until this small black groove here is resting against this mold line here. As so. Repeat that on the uh, on the other leg. As so. You want to get Optimus. He decides that it'll be funny to close his own mouth plate down and recoil his antenna. Then there's a nub here, whoops, nub here and a nub here. Then there's a port there and a small port there. The smaller nub goes into the bottom of the heel and then the bigger nub goes into the back of his leg, as so. And you repeat the process on the uh, on the other leg as so and as so until you have Optimus a little something like this and this is apparently an official mode I don't know either I really don't but uh, yeah so just set Ptolemus Prime off to the side Then you want to come to the rest of the trailer. Yeah, this one has a tendency of swinging round freely on mine, as you can see. Oh. Anyway. You want to come to the rest of the trailer and fold these legs outward, these support legs. You want to fold them outward. You want to rotate the cannons all the way around, as so and as so. Then you want to rotate the trailer sides around, like that. Rotate the guns over by one click, and then rotate them down two clicks. I'll just repeat the process on the other side. So let's see. About there. There. Then you take these two sections here, and you slide them just under Optimus's armpits, as so. And you take these two posts here, rotate them down, and these will snap over his shoulder joints. And there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is Transformers Galaxy Force Leader Class Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And this guy is freaking massive, as you can see. I mean, I'm recording this with uh, with my webcam. And the picture I'm getting on my um, on my laptop, he's more or less filling uh, the entire screen. It's quite it's quite bizarre actually. Uh, and so and so yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this this guy's just massive. I kid you not. All right, now for some height comparisons again. Here he is with animated Optimus. And here he is with Transformers Prime Optimus. Yeah. It 
It's insane. But uh, yeah, articulation in super robot mode. This guy has just about zero to none articulation. Uh, the legs can still go forwards, and they can also go back even with this big cannon attachment. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, the arms can do about a full 180 without knocking into anything. Uh, the head can rotate at the risk of, uh, of the antenna going floppy. Grow up. And, uh, and so, yeah. That's about it, really. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, now I'll just uh, get him back into his uh, into his vehicle mode. So just fold the mouth plate down, fold in his antennae, push his head down, detach the backpack, fold these sections down on the backpack. Rotate the guns up, down, and all around, I guess. So, as so. La la la. As so. Oops. And as so. I'm sorry if none of that was in shot. Then come back to, uh, to the figure itself. Detach these rear leg cannons. Slide the legs inward. Plug the legs together, rotate the heel spurs down, fold up his feet, slide the heel spurs up, rotate his crotch section, pull that down to get his chest open. And one thing that's really cool that I forgot to add earlier is that he actually comes with a built-in matrix of leadership, which... It's a bit fiddly, but... Hang on. Come on. There we go. But it can be removed. So yeah, he has that. Nice uh, orange detailing up front. Unfortunately, though, they didn't do that for the back. It's all, it's all solid grey on the back, which is a bit of a shame. But he can. And just do this real quick. He can hold it rather loosely. I uh, I agree, but nonetheless, he can still hold his matrix of leadership, which is pretty cool. So I'll just push that back into his chest cavity. There we go. Oops. Ah. There we go. La la la. La, la 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 And then the in and then this entire section should clip together. There we go. Those go off to the side. Then what I like to do is is as you just saw I put the entire cab back one clip, rotate the cab up, and then bring that down. And the reason for that is because on his, um, on his crotch section, as you can see, there's a small clip and there's a nub right there. The rest for that, the rest of that is self-explanatory. Then you take these two cans together, clip them together, rotate the cans around and then fold them in. Repeat the process on the other cannon. And as you can see, there are two nubs here on the upper section of the cannon and two ports on the inner of the trailer. The rest, as the saying goes, is history. So there's the trailer now back in one piece. And then 
So you can see there are two nubs here from earlier, and then two ports here, as well as two connection ports here. Where they go is actually on Optimus's leg. The first set of nubs go here and here. Uh, the indents go over his feet, and then the second set of ports go over these two nubs here. It is a bit of a uh, it is a bit of a faff trying to do it, but it can be done in one move. Ta-da! And there is Transformers uh, Transformers Galaxy Force Leader Class Optimus back in his vehicle mode. Now again, my views haven't really changed on this figure. I still highly recommend getting it. It's an absolutely fantastic figure. And in truth, I can't stress how amazing it is. I, I just love this figure to bits. So, uh, so yeah, in the next review, we shall be taking another look at the Transformers Animated Voyager Class Optimus. So until then, everyone, this has been Speedy of Speed Racer 456B Productions, saying thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.